Also at the state capitol, the Senate voted down a bill that would have provided $1.5 billion for infrastructure projects. This type of bill requires 60% of the House and Senate to vote yes. As Esme Murphy reports, Republicans are holding firm to their demand for tax cuts. Democrats went into this debate on the bonding bill knowing full well they didn't have the votes for passage, but they wanted this debate to play out in public. That's my number one. Before the vote, the DFL senators brought out construction workers who urged the Senate to pass the bonding bill. Quit playing political games with my livelihood. Do your job, get back to work, and just get this bonding bill passed today. Earlier this month, the bill passed the House with the needed 60% of the vote. But the Senate is proving a harder sell. Republican senators say they won't support it unless Democrats agree to specific tax cuts, including the elimination of the Social Security tax. We've asked for some tax cuts for Minnesotans with a $19 billion surplus. We want some simple tax cuts. Bonding bill proposals at the legislature, including the governor's, provide money for smaller local projects. For example, $4.4 million for a new fire station in Dilworth and $1.5 million for a municipal swimming pool and water playground in Pelican Rapids. The bonding bill requires the state to borrow money and pay it back over time. Republicans say they won't support that unless Democrats back specific tax cuts, including that Social Security tax. I think this is a great debate. It helped uh, Senate Republicans look like we're the grown-ups in the room in trying to move this thing forward. But it has proven very hard to get a deal on a bonding bill, not just this year, but there hasn't been a bonding bill passed in the state legislature for three years. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Both sides say if a compromise on the bonding bill does not emerge, they could support an all-cash bill that would use surplus money and not require any borrowing.